Now, if you own the Fire TV Stick Lite or the 2020 Fire TV Stick, you should have now received the brand new update, which basically overalls a user interface. Now, I did a couple videos on this as the updates came in, but a question that always came up is, when are they gonna roll it out to the Fire TV Stick 4K, the Fire TV Stick Cube? Well, we finally got an update from Amazon. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. All right guys, so if you haven't checked out my video, I did a couple videos showing you the user interface, what it's gonna look like, what the update process is, and I will be doing another follow-up once they release it to the Fire TV Stick 4K. So I'll go ahead and link those videos in the top right. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments section below. So before we get into it, I wanna just say thank you, cause what is happening is, Amazon is finally getting some competition. The new Google Chromecast with Google TV is probably the main reason why they forced the update out. If you guys don't know about the new Google Chromecast with Google TV, this device, I am in love with it. The design is really good, it's super responsive, the UI is magnificent, and I can't say enough good things about it, but it's given Amazon some competition where they actually have to bring something new to the table, and they went ahead and rolled out the new update. So like I said in the intro, originally they rolled this out to the 2020 version, of the Fire TV, so the Fire TV Stick Lite, as well as the third generation Fire TV, and now they're giving us some information of when they're gonna actually push this to the Fire TV Stick 4K and the Fire TV Cube. So before we jump into the proposed date, let's go over some of the new features of the new update. So one of the main things they addressed was the clunkiness of their user interface. So what they've done is they simplified the navigation bar to include access to the user's favorite application, as well as a dedicated section for content that you won't require an extra payment. So these will be ad supported applications, of course. So if you guys think of Pluto or Zumo TV, some of those free services that you don't have to sign up for, that you don't have to really put any information in. Now, along with that, they also added user profiles, which I think is a game changer. Now you can add your kids, add your wife, and in order for them to switch profiles, they have to put in a pin. So I think that was another great addition. And last but not least, they added a new feature called App Previews. And what this does, it highlights contents for specific apps even before a user opens the application. So I think this upgrade was well overdue, well deserved, and for you guys that have been waiting, here's what we have as far as the release date. So I am reading from protocol.com. I am just gonna touch on the release date, but guys, feel free to check out the entire article. I'll leave the link in the description. It reads, when Amazon's Fire TV team began pushing out the new interface for selecting streaming services in December, it wasn't just aiming for cosmetic refresh. The new update, which is set to launch on the Fire TV Stick 4K, as well as the Fire TV Cube next month, so, Keep in mind that will be March. Promises to rein in some of the sprawls caused by the Fire TV's last major UI. However, the new changes shows how hard it can be for TV platforms to do the right thing for the consumers without offending current partners. So there's a little backstory behind this, and this was uh, by Google, I'll read that. On the surface, all of the changes seem sensible, but industry insiders will tell you quickly that any change to consumer's discovery path can be a minefield for TV platform providers. So example, take Google's new Chromecast device. Together with a new interface for the Android TV, the search giant also introduced a system-wide watch list as a way to bookmark individual shows and movies across streaming services. Weeks after launching the device, Netflix forced Google to exclude its originals from the watch list. The streaming service would rather have subscribers use the list in its own app where titles don't compete with those for other services services so this is Netflix saying hey I want the user to go to my application then they can browse my originals I don't want them to compete with series from Hulu or from Amazon so the reason that I thought that was important is just that sometimes these smart TV manufacturers uh, they have a lot more to, to deal there's a lot more politics happening in the background than just pushing an update that they know is beneficial for the user. So that's just a quick summary. Like I said, i leave the link to the article. The big news is that this is gonna arrive sometime in March. Hopefully it's earlier in March and not later. Uh, should be pushed to the Fire TV Stick 4K, which I get a lot of questions about. Should also be pushed to the Fire TV Cube. And I assume that the older Fire TV Sticks and the Fire TV televisions are gonna get it as well, but it doesn't mention it here in the article, but I keep my eye out for that as well. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smash your thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.